Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Heart of Iron 3. Now, uh, I want to talk to you guys about some stuff real quick. As you can see, I bought some production licenses for fucking tigers because it seemed like a good idea to me. Um, I paid like a thousand dollars for them, a thousand million. I don't know. What is each dollar a thousand dollars if each man is a thousand men? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Still a little bit on the ill side. Anyway, I've spent the last like two hours reorganizing my order of battle and looking at the map and uh, strategizing and well as you can if you take a quick look you can actually see that things are much more organized like if we go down here organize into specific armies on three fronts basically this front this front and this front down here but uh, the, the most important thing I want to mention is that I have decided to cancel my invasion of Los Angeles uh, I realized, I was looking at my troops here, I only have 12 divisions set up, set aside for this this invasion. 12 is not going to get me anywhere, especially when there's urban combat here and here, Los Angeles and San Diego, and there's mountains up here. You know, like right there, Pasadena is mountainous. There, there's no way I'm going to be able to do what I need to do. Take even this small area, I don't think I'd be able to do it and hold it with just 12 divisions. So, what I've decided to do is refocus my attention on conquering the Pacific and fighting the Soviet Union. It is spring of 1942, Fall Blau, Case Blue, the assault on the Caucasus in Stalingrad is launching off right now. So the, so so the Soviet Union is going to be pressured pretty hard by the Germans right now. So I need to help Germany as best I can take out the Soviet Union. There's no way you're going to take out the Soviet Union and the United States at the exact same time. You need to do one or the other. So I'm not going to fight the Americans on the land. However, I am going to cock block the shit out of the American Navy. I've got most of my Navy set up uh, and I'll put on naval map mode right over here. We're going to basically convoy raid the shit out of that ever everywhere and try to strangle their supplies and their resources. And hopefully, you know, I I've set it up so they don't actually get right against here, but if they the American Navy comes out, we're going to be able to uh, hit them hit them with my navies, which are which are you know, patrolling this area. Make sure the outliner is set up correctly. So I'm going to try to continually smack the American Navy down. And I actually went through the ledger. And if I think we go to number six, ships sunk. Uh, I went through the list here and United States. Here we go. Count it on the list. And I'll just scroll through it really quickly here. I've sunk 12 American battleships so far, almost exclusively with... Actually, this one was uh, sunk by the Mutsu. The Pennsylvania was sunk by the Mutsu. That's a, that's a battleship. Uh, uh, almost exclusively by by aircraft carriers. Aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier. All, almost all this is aircraft carriers. So my, my carrier fleet is smacking the hell out of the American Navy. So we're going to cockblock the American Navy and try to... Uh, basically deny access that deny them access to the Pacific while we're focusing on other things so that means what we're gonna need to do is hmm, we're gonna load up our Marines here we're gonna rebase them down to Phoenix Island because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Tarawa next we're gonna take Tarawa because it's part of the uh, Pacific momentum so we're gonna do Tarawa and I think this is the Marianas is that the name of these islands um, we do have a naval base here on Nauru, so maybe take Nauru and Guadalcanal, and then probably have my Marines come over here and help with Singapore. So that's what we're going to be doing. Complete redesign of our strategy here. We've got uh, a lot of planes set up in Burma to logistical, logistical bombing. Ho I'm hoping, because they've got a lot of guys over here, especially in these two mountain provinces, they got a lot of guys, and they're not going to be able to supply them that well, especially if we're hitting their supply routes. So, mostly, these guys are set up to logistical bomb, and so are the strategic bombers. Alright, uh, one of these guys, you need to stay here, because I didn't realize that right here there's a little pathway. So, if I leave this blank, they can move over this way. Okay. Alright, I know you guys are disappointed that we're not attacking the United States, but seriously, what am I going to do with 12 divisions? I've got like 150,000 men set up to attack the United States, while I've got like 800,000 on the front here in the Soviet Union. So we're, we're going to attack the shit out of the Soviet Union 
over here. And I believe, let's check out production real quick. Still got it set to manual. Oh shit. Um, hang on. I got there's some. I did something and then the game crashed before I saved it. Okay, we're going to go through and we're going to upgrade all these guys to convoy raiders. It's instantaneous. It only takes one day to do. So all half of my uh, passenger ships, because I'm not really doing much with them, I'm going to turn to convoy raiders. Here we go. Oh, really? It's going to reset to the top of the list? What a butt. There we go. Three more to do. And then we're going to have to go to the production tab and move them all to the top. Production. Look how pricey the Tigers are. 53 IC. But, frankly, I'm going to need heavy tanks to fight all the fucking Shermans. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to try to take out the Soviet Union first. I've got more troops there anyway. I've got... It's, it's much more set... already set... to uh, fight in the Soviet Union, so that's what we're going to do. Game's been a little unstable recently, which has been making me nervous. Because uh, I've been playing off screen a lot. Not and by playing, I mean just going through and reorganizing my my order of battle, basically. But you know, I can sit here and dick around for an hour, and then it'll crash on me, and that's really unsettling. Okay, see, these guys are already done. What we're gonna do is, well, I guess a couple of them finished. Oh, it's because we didn't do the... Uh, I got distracted when I was talking, that's why. So these guys are going to be behind today. No big deal. Uh, there's some other stuff I added to the production queue that doesn't look like it got done. Doesn't, doesn't look like it got saved, but thankfully... <coughs> mm, sorry, excuse me. Thankfully, all of the reorganizing of my order of battle did get saved before the games uh, crashed on me. Oh, there those guys are. So we'll just do a lot of clicking here. Now these guys are going to need to get their organization up, so I'm going to need to wait on that. And I see some naval combat. I'll go check on that. Uh, here they are right here. Whoa! They came up with a lot of experience. I like that. What do we got going? Uh, the coastal battleships came across a transport ship. And did absolutely and probably, didn't, probably weren't able to catch him. All right, so we're getting attacked here, but we're defending. I love getting attacked in in these in terrible terrain because it's a just a it's it's a meat grinder for experience. You get tons of experience. Your leaders get tons of you know you know they get their traits upgraded real quickly that way. So it's awesome about those pro those prolonged battles give you so much experience. Now, if I remember correctly, did I do it? Did I set these guys up? Yes. I actually forgot that I had like. Nine submarines based in some of these islands over here. All class Ds. All type Ds. And I forgot they were there for so long. Alright, you are actually just going to rebase here for now. Might leave two divisions in Hawaii just to make sure that the Americans don't get out and try to take it because I need to keep Hawaii. And the rest are probably going to be going to Singapore. Not Singapore. Philippines. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wait here and hope and hope to lure the Americans out. If they come out, we'll be able to catch them, catch them and destroy them. All right. So let's look up at the Soviet front here, because this is where we want a lot of positive. Huh. Okay. You guys. Okay. You're basically right here. This guy is these guys right here. So let's do one there. And you guys there. That, thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure these guys these guys are keeping up with the front. So you're going to move here. Alright, good. That's moving up here. Actually, um... Torgo Forest. It's a forest, clearly. So I don't necessarily want to attack that from just one area. Alright, we just lost a cruiser. Alright, I was not paying attention, and our our navy 
One of our navies got wrecked. So you guys need to head back. Thank you very much. That's unfortunate because we were not paying attention to what ha was happening there. God oh, damn it. Got the outliner up for a reason and then I want paying attention to it. Oh, this is bad. Dear God, I hope we don't lose a a carrier. Okay, why are you guys not moving? Re... Okay, I need you guys to get the fuck out of there. Ugh. So their, their carriers are just as wrecked as mine. And the cags keep going up and fighting each other. As long as we don't- as long as none of our carriers get sunk. Alright, you guys need to get the fuck out of there. Is it because they're retreating, technically? Alright, we're bombing them. Well, if we sink any of their ships, I'd be happy with that. Because our navy has taken a fucking beating. Oh, veteran navy. I think that's for fighting a specific amount of battles. Well, there's the Lexington now. Naval strike. There we go. Oh uh, my god, look at the Zuikaku. About, basically about to sink. Get, okay, you guys need to get your asses out of there and repair. Woo, that fleet got messed up. Get out, get out of dodge, get out of dodge. As long as you don't, as long as you guys don't sink, I'm happy. And you know what we can do right now? Let's, um... Port strike. Lexington is heavily damaged in that port right now. Yep, the Lexington and the South Dakota. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're hitting it. I No, it's still there. There it goes. Sunk in its berth. And the South Dakota. Okay, I'm gonna... Now, while my, my carrier force was mauled in that combat, I did not lose a single flat top. They did, however. They did lose a flat top. All right, so you guys can um, just CAG duty. And if we check on, let's see, who sunk what? Akagi. Ooh, look at this guy. Tennis, uh, this, okay. The CAGs from the Akagi sank the Tennessee. Let's see. Saratoga. Is that the one we just sank, the Saratoga? I thought it was the Lexington. Let's take a look. The Saratoga's down. We know that. Okay, so apparently at some point we sank the Lexington. I, I would imagine we sank it actually in the naval combat out here. But they lost the Lexington, the Saratoga, and the South Dakota, while I only lost a light cruiser. So I'm going to call that a resounding victory. I did... Well, my fleet did take a bit of a mauling. But they lost two carriers and a battleship, along with a bunch of auxiliaries. So we're definitely going to call that a victory. Right, so these tanks are actually doing relatively good, and if I remember correctly... Okay, these, guys, these are all the, the attachments I made. They are heading up to this front over here, and when they get up there, they're going to get dispersed out and attached to the units that need them. Alright, so my guys have made it over here. So you guys are going to get loaded up. And we are going to Naval Invasion Tarwa. There we go. Uh, we don't have any carriers down here, but I'm not terribly worried about it, honestly. 
I don't think it's a huge deal. Looks like there's a convoy that heads right over here. What if we... Torpedo boats can't make it that far? I don't think they're bait. They must be based somewhere else. Rebase over here. So I'm going to call that a resounding naval victory. Uh, that one fleet does need to head back to Midway to repair, but that's exactly what Midway's there for. It's my dry dock. It's my primary naval base. That's probably this fleet right here. Nope, the submarines, they're heading back right now. All right, yeah, look, they've, they've got heavily damaged. Heavily, heavily damaged. All of them. But not one sank. Actually, just checking what, who who these guys if they sank anybody recently in these bat in that battle, DDs, Shokaku, auxiliaries. All right, so we're we're heading off to Tarawa. Should be pretty easy. This is a United. This is a British island. So hopefully there are just about just as many British as there were Americans on these islands. And this is a strategic resource. Taking it should get me a little boost. All right, now let's uh, make sure that this is going well. Support attack. I want to make sure this bat these guys break and run. See, we're not only breaking them in Burma, we're actually causing large numbers of casualties, which is going to be hard to replenish over there, theoretically. I wish these guys had supplies, but they don't, which is unfortunate. Alright, I'm thinking about canceling this attack. I mean, we are beating them, but... Well, eh, they're actually just about to break, so... Yeah, they're just about to break, so I'm, I'm gonna keep that going. Let me know what you guys think about my change of strategy. I know everybody was raring to go with... Oh, uh, you... Actually, I want to cancel that, because you're not gonna get anywhere doing that. I, I'm really interested to hear what you guys want to well, uh, want to want to want to want to say about this. I I you know I like listening to your opinions, but do you guys think that twelve divisions could have done jack shit in America? Honestly, like, if I had maybe twenty five divisions, like a full army group, full army, not full army group, full army group, oof, that would have been fine. I feel like a one full army. You know, five divisions and five cores, 25 divisions, would have been good for taking um, Los Angeles, Ocean, Gulf of Santa... Well, what is it? Oceanside? Uh, Los Angeles, Oceanside, and San Diego, and then that would be a great base for launching attacks into the United States, but I just don't think it would have been feasible. I really wish that when you grabbed these guys, it, sh it like, gave you a little... It kind of highlighted where where they could reach, what their, their range was. Instead of just trial and erroring it. There's still logistical bombing. Strategic bombers are flying from... What island is this? Formosa? Alright, we did good up there. Light infantry move up. Alright. So... We, we made some progress in Burma. Some progress. They have two victory points, so just taking their capital here isn't going to do it by itself. But we're doing good. Port strike advances. Port strike efficiency. That's that's good. Port strike efficiency is going to help me out. All right, now we win this battle up here yet. No, we didn't. They must have brought... Did they bring someone new in? Ah, terrain. You know what we should do? We should cancel this attack. And get it going again. Oh, no, th that infantry is, is is spent. Okay. Um, Who are you guys attached to? This guy. So we won there, so let's see. You guys are going to move up here. As soon as you, these guys get there, I can launch an attack on Torgo Forest here. Ooh, naval combat. Pause. 
Well, it uh, looks like convoy escorts. Three escort carriers are have been engaged by the Shinano, the Owami. So let's grab our CAGs and naval strike. Hopefully we can catch them. It's can their Canadian convoy escorts is what they were. We didn't catch them. Shame. All right, so we didn't catch those guys, unfortunately. Didn't do any damage to them, so we'll just set these guys back up to CAG. There we go. And did our fleet make it back? They did. Okay, so they're repairing here. It's gonna take a while. But I mean, we sank two American flat tops in that battle for the loss of none. Single engine fighter prototype advances, pocket battleships, landing craft flotilla. So now if we went into a flotilla, we have access to pocket battleships. Which are basically like heavy, heavy cruisers. Basically, take a heavy cruiser, give it some bitchin' engines, and up its guns, up, up the caliber of its guns, and you get a pocket battleship. And if we went to air wing, these guys should be better. Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa's. Alright, uh, I can get on board with that. And as you can see, we actually, I did start construction of additional air bases and radar stations in Honolulu, so it'll work better as a staging area. Alright, they're falling back out of this area right here, so let's launch all of our units up this way. Is they, I think they've decided that this area has become untenable. Yep. Alright, so a lot of the units up here do need a bit of a rest, but we're doing pretty good still. These guys are fine, so we're going to attack there. And we're going to attack here. Hopefully that'll be enough to break Torgo Forest. Easily. So, who do we got coming for? We have more... Let's see. Let's bring you way up here. Oh, you, you're set to... you set to redeploy? Oh, yeah. He just has to go around the mountains. There we go. Alright. Wasn't paying attention, but apparently we got... We got them, yeah. No, we should do because these guys keep coming through here. Let's um, let's do this. Let's patrol here. That'll that'll cover this area as well. And if we set you guys up to convoy raid, maybe we'll actually do a better job catching the convoys. Now I believe we have a bunch of submarines left here. These guys aren't hitting anybody anymore. Convoy raiding. So who is this? This guy is hitting something. Who's down here? Who's convoy raiding in these areas? No idea. Maybe it's the planes that are convoy raiding in those areas. I think that it was a good idea. Did we take Tarawa? I was about to say, I wasn't even paying attention. Did we fucking take it? I don't think there's anybody there. different province, so we'd have to launch a separate invasion to take these islands. Gilbert. So these are the Gilbert Islands, I'm assuming. Yeah, Gilbert Islands. Well, they do have a garrison in Nauru here. You think they'll put up a fight for Guadalcanal? Is that this one? It is. Alright. And combat. So it looks like they're putting up a bit more of a fight in Torgo than I expected. So let's support the attack from this direction as well. Much better. And these guys need to really run. These guys have been in some pretty heavy combat up here. You can tell by their experience. But they definitely need to rest for a little bit. I think that, I think that 107 means it's real good. I'm going to go with really, really good, not really, really bad. These tanks in the mountains here, there might be a tough nut to crack, but I think we'll be able to do it. What I'm happy, what, what makes me happy about taking this province here is I believe it's basically the road system that leads through here. I think that'll get more supplies to be down here, hopefully. Because a lot of these guys are out of supplies, which is bad for me, which is why I'm kind of thinning the front out here. I, I pulled a lot of troops off of this front because 
I'd rather fight with a few troops that are really, really well supplied than a ton of troops that are not. I think anybody would rather fight like that. All right, now where are my coastal battleships? There they are. So if we move you right there, we'll be able to shore bombardment right here. You guys can recoup for a little bit. Because it's going to be another tough battle if we're just fighting down the, down the way there. All right, so let's let's grab one of these guys. Aircraft carrier engine. Ooh, nice aircraft carrier related stuff. So our carriers can upgrade if we really wanted to, but the next class of carriers will be will be better. Uh, load, invasion. So let's see what happens here. Still watching for that naval. Co I can't believe we sank two American carriers this episode. That is amazing. I love it. And a battleship. And a battleship. With no loss. Well, I lost a light cruiser. Alright, so they do have... They do have somebody there, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a deal. And then, probably... Should we take Nauru first? Convoy raiding. Hit someone over here. Oh, these guys haven't arrived yet. That's why there's nobody. nothing happening there. Let's actually set you guys up to raid right there, and you guys up to raid right here. See if we can get the whole convoy as it goes. Supply situation's okay. Won the Battle of Torgo. Good. It's this one right there. There, it looks like they're bombing me. We don't have any- we basically don't have any air support up here right now, though. I don't really have enough supplies to keep it going, but I'm hoping this will help right here. Because they basically had control of this road, and I think that should help, theoretically. All right, so let's let's start an attack here, and see what we can do about this. Support attack. Hopefully, we'll be able. To, I mean, they're tanks in the mountains. They shouldn't be too tough to crack. I'm not exactly sure, though. If we can support attack, like, well, we don't even need, we could just attack attack from this direction as well. That should really open it up. Yeah, there we go. Like, these guys are just not getting supplies. Which sucks, because that means their organization is going down and going down, going down, going down, going down. What the hell island is this? Papit? The fuck is Papit? Alright, did we win here yet? Just about. Basic goal here is just deny use of all of these islands and all of their naval bases to the Allied powers. Which I think should work out pretty well. Alright, so you rebase. Negative two. Oh, someone's attacking me. Attack me all you want. Not gonna get anywhere. So I love to continue ass assaulting with these guys, but their organization is just slow. Which is unfortunate. We are hitting convoys down here, that's good. These subs haven't arrived yet. This is a- this seems to be, uh, proving to be a pretty fruitful hunting ground right down here. Alright, so, load up. And you're gonna head over here. Gonna, oh, nope, we're gonna... Not just transport, we're gonna rebase. So you guys- so you stay there. Alright, now, if we launch an attack... Right there, how well will it work? Badly. Very badly, even with the shore bombardment. So we might be... Hmm. Might be a little stuck here at the moment. 
until the Marines arrive. Oh, hang on a sec. Air combat. Oh, that's just uh, inter interceptors going up after some strategic bombers. Naval combat, Straits of Malacca. HMS Eagle. Interesting. Hmm. You think we can get over there in time to hit the Eagle? They're still there. Come on, guys, get over there. Bombing of the Straits of Malacca. Hmm. Doesn't look like we actually caught them. Shame. Basically, what I was waiting here is for these guys to... Yeah, we're gonna cag duty. These guys to repair up a little, just because they took a little bit of damage before sending them out again. They're attacking me from multiple sides here. I'm okay with that, because these guys could use some experience. Attacking me here, again, perfectly fine with that. Could use the experience. We should be able to break them right over here pretty simply. Could actually throw all these guys into this attack here. I just saw something. Just for a second it popped up there. Sorry we took a hit. Nothing major though. Alright, so we're gonna end this episode here. Complete reorganization of our strategy. We've really changed up the way we're going to be handling things, and actually you guys can load right up. And... Should we take some of these small, these other places first, or go straight to Guadalcanal? We'll figure that out next episode. So everybody, if you have enjoyed this, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.